Good evening. I'd like to thank Marco, good friend Marco, for a suggestion uh, to upload this video. Um, I'm going to talk about Ubota wax. This is the stuff that I use when occasionally I need to lubricate a disc to get it to play well, settle down if it's a bit worn or a bit edgy or just a very loud um, recording, uh, which can be difficult for the, um, the, the thorn needles, Burmese colour needles, or uh, bamboo fibre needles to, um, to to track well and for the points to last right across the uh, the record. So very occasionally just a tiny amount. The reason why I prefer this stuff, I think I first heard about it um, many years ago, I heard that uh, certain very discerning Japanese 78 collectors use it. And um, thinking about it, only a very tiny amount is used. It's very dry, sort of a waxy, dry, powdery substance. And it seems to me to be similar in nature to the shellac that our, uh, our lovely records are, are made from. It's exuded by an insect feeding on a very waxy plant. Um, it's uh, most commonly used in uh, some of the final polishing operations for making samurai swords. So it's a curious material, uh, quite hard to get hold of. I, I've managed to track a supply down in, in Japan. And um, the little packet you can see there is uh, is just one gram. I've been using my first gram for goodness me, probably uh, probably three three years or so now. Anyway, let's just demonstrate. Uh, lovely old sleeve there, very very old one, and uh, uh, a discerning old collector. This is the record that uh, that was in it. You can see there. Possibly, I don't know if you can read that. Cello solo, Pablo Casals. Excessive surface noise, cleaned and played, November 1987. I can remember where I bought this from. It was an extraordinary old uh, whiskery gent called a Mr. Musker in uh, Headcorn, not too far from here in Kent. Anyway, here's the record. Now this Abota wax, I transfer the, um, the stuff into a little pouch of something, um, some sort of fairly... Uh, um, sort of porous uh, open weave fabric. That happens to be a bit of teram, which is a geotextile uh, used in sort of landscaping and groundworks and so on. But uh, I suppose you could use something like muslin, um, sort of coarser types of silk, anything like that. So just a tiny little drawstring bag. And I just literally dot a few um, specks, quite a lot of specks, but still a, a tiny amount of material. I'm hoping you can you can see this around the record. And then I just get a, a piece of felt, ordinary turntable felt, you know, the sort of felt that uh, our gramophones are covered with. And I just uh, polish it in. It takes uh, perhaps a minute or so. I'll do the full little operation as I, um, as I usually do. If you are doing this, um, please take care. Obviously, it's not exactly very likely, but uh, don't uh, scoot the record off onto the floor and break it. That would be a disaster. You know, I take no responsibility for such occurrences. Um, so, yeah, just sort of round and, and round a bit like that. And uh, just uh, into, the, into the grooves. Uh, a little tiny bit comes up on the needle. Really tiny amount comes up on the, on the needle. The first play or two, I just uh, sort of clean that off with the pinch of the fingers and um, and just uh, you know run this piece of um, piece of felt on the on the grooves um, uh, with the turntable still running just to polish it back in and after a couple of plays two or three plays on, on a gramophone it's fine people have asked what about them playing such a disc that's been treated like this on um, on a hi-fi turntable with a precious um, uh, diamond uh, stylus in a magnetic cartridge or what have you. To me, no problem at all. I would give the record a good brush just to take off uh, any excess, clear anything out of the grooves first. But uh, again, a tiny amount might accumulate on the stylus, but it's not liquid in any form. It's not going to affect the stylus uh, adhesive or anything like that. Um, tiny amount and uh, I believe completely harmless. I think the jury's out for me. I know for some people using other things such as uh, 
polishes, WD-40, what have you. There are people that say that's absolutely fine. I wouldn't uh, counter their opinion, but um, I prefer to be cautious. And I find this stuff is fantastic. It's highly effective as well as um, being such a tiny, uh, tiny amount. Magic stuff. Thanks very much. Hope that was uh, at least moderately interesting.